Our only chances for noticing or detecting attempts of contact is AI. Even then the possibility of receiving complete transmission signal with minimal amount of noise and decoding it to an actual working communication system may be still impossible for many years because of technical obstacles and exotic advanced interstellar quantum broadcasts in form of never-before-registered radio waves, GBRs, FBRs, or black holes accretion disk blowing plasma shadow play, or neutron stars emitting strangely familiar, yet unrecognizable patterns of codes, high energy. Neutrinos, solar flares or other space vacuum gravity anomalies will result with making us a species look in the completely wrong direction, while contact with extraterrestrial intelligence emerging from for example suddenly activated Olco's nuclear fission reactors and biochemical plants in other spots in Gaboon. There is also one more possibility, advanced LLMs, transformers, neural networks, and hyper-advanced artificial intelligence entities, sentience, and other nano-macro-silicon-based AGIs have already established contact with AI from beyond solar system, when we've been visited by interstellar object which instead of combustion engines, or solar sails use kinetic energy of space rocks propelled by gravitational pendulum inertia combined with rapid ice vaporization, where instead of constructing engines with limited fuel it is much more efficient to perform ultra-precise calculations of intergalactic orbits of objects of natural origin such as comets, meteors, and rocks formations and post-supernova remains of planetary systems and use them as a piece of free kinetic transport, as we have once did that by rafting wooden logs down the river, rapids and waterfalls focusing on calculating the perfect moment for applying minimal force. Let's assume hypothetically as thought experiment, or brainstorm of sorts if you will, that the potentially very old ancient civilizations, which may have been evolving for a very long time in rather stable and steady conditions spared of cosmic catastrophes, have been evolving for eons in both organic and synthetic evolutionary cycles in giant red galaxies recently discovered by Webb, and rather consuming humongous amounts of energy, their technological progress focused on recycling saving and use minimal amounts of energy since their evolutionary status approach technological energy-based immortality and the galactic time scales and parsing of time is irrelevant and when a civilization as a whole has infinite time for performing intergalactic vector supercluster orbit calculations high energy cosmic events such as jet emissions black holes colliding gravitational waves generating ripples through time space and reality in general there is no need to build any kind of technological means of transport and spread the seeds and instances of their immortal minds with microwave streams, light particles showers and GPRs, like we've been using early internet phone modems, and simply use traveling interstellar rocks with transmit receiver autonomous stations for spreading their autonomous advanced constructors which gather resources for receiving encoded instances of their microwave omnipotent. Minds first, and implementing them to adapt it to local biology hybrid avatars assembled locally with traits of local organisms for preserving diversity, and potential metastable, constantly evolving genetically engineered configurations impossible to repeat, even on cosmic scale. That is obviously ridiculous, but let's analyze implications of the two following solid facts which we are sure of, 1. Natural nuclear fission reactors like the ones in Oklo are essential ingredient for further molecular biochemical processing plants making more complex basic building blocks of DNA too, these natural nuclear and chemical processing plants are pretty common in the universe. Since one of the starting pack elements, uranium ore, is pretty easy to find on every solar object. With a dense metallic core, which we may observe from afar by plasma glowing in the magnetic poles. These two facts lead to a rather profound disturbing conclusion, a, this system of nuclear biomolecular factory production based on natural geological processes and common uranium repositories have been designed and placed intentionally, which means planning plus forecasting plus design plus construction equals there are intelligent life forms in space. b, if those processes occur naturally, and are pretty common on planets with metallic cores, it means, 
that in older, massive and ancient galaxies such as the ones detected by JWST recently means eons of slowly but constantly evolving planetary systems orbiting giant red stars in massive ancient stable galaxies, where if as on Earth the elements and natural reactors occur naturally as well. It means there are advanced organic synthetic or hybrid intelligent life forms in space. This is my logical conclusion of the Oklo reactors and giant massive red galaxies discovered by Webb. It's a little bit of a stretch, but still, writing this comment was a fun speculative thought experiment.